he called me at like 9:30 last night and uh, kind of just you know broke broke it down kind of how it all went down and, and he was shocked just as, as much as we were uh, he thought Doug was just calling him to kind of you know, talk about something else and before you know it he's, he's shipped off to Toronto so yeah he, he had no uh, he had no idea that was coming um, but like I said nature of the business and nothing you can do about it yeah I mean he was our leader um, he led by example he led vocally um, you know, those are those are big things, especially um, you know in the room, and most people don't really see that stuff. So um, he's a great leader for us, and um, you know, for a lot of us, a good mentor as well. And um, now it's our, our turn to carry the torch. You have to come to the rink and, and enjoy it. Still, I mean, it's a crappy situation. There's no doubt about it. Um, but it, it's going to be miserable if guys are coming in here and pouting and, and not happy. And you know, we got 20 guys. We like to say we're all pretty close and and like to have fun and joke around with each other and, and that realistically that still has to happen like you want to come in here and enjoy coming to the office every day and and putting in the work it's fun to work hard especially with guys that you that you enjoy being around and you kind of go through that hardship together um, and, and hopefully you grow from it and so I mean I think um, just guys need to know and you want to come here and then everyone wants to still enjoy playing hockey and, and then with that is uh, makes it a lot easier to come in and work hard if, if you're having fun.